let's make this very clear. These tactics that they use, the reason why something like this, where they take these actions and you're like, how, how does that make any sense? Feels like you're in a bizarro world because you're looking at a clip and you're saying, I don't see where he said anything wrong and he made himself clear, right? This whole talk about AIDS makes me uncomfortable. I think that I think it's the wrong road to go down. She says people, you know, politicians or something are not in their prime. Nikki Haley isn't in her prime. Sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s and maybe 40s. What do you that's talk? Not Wait. I, that's not according to me. Prime for what? Uh, it, it depends. I mean, it's just like prime. If you look it up, it'll if you look, if you Google when is a woman in her prime, it'll say 20s, 30s and 40s. I don't necessarily. 40s. Oh, I got another I'm not saying decade. I agree with that. So I think she has to be careful about saying that, well, you know, politicians aren't in their prime. You need to need qualify. To are you talking about prime for like child yeah, but boring you or are you talking don't shoot about the prime drum, for just being say president? What the facts are. Google it. Everybody at home. When is a woman in her prime? It says 20s, 30s and 40s. And I'm just saying Nikki Haley should be careful about saying that politicians are not in their prime and they need to be in their prime when they serve because she wouldn't be in her prime, according to Google, you know, Google or whatever it is. It's like the Kyrie Irving situation all over again. But like I've told you before, and what y'all need to understand, if they use it with uh, with the Jewish with the Jewish people, they've been doing it with them, when it's actually Zionists that are hiding behind the Jewish religion. Uh, they use it with black people. They use it with uh, homosexuals. Think about Sam Smith going up there on the Grammy stage and wearing the devil's, you know, Sam Smith, Sam Smith and a transsexual going up there and, and making a, <laughs> making a demonic presentation at the Grammys. What do you think that's about? Or the shit that little Nas X was doing. It's there to drive a wedge. It's like I've been saying. All the stuff, all the inconsistencies and stuff that you just think like, how does that even make sense when it comes to uh, racial tensions? Black, a lot of black people don't even see it. I think a little bit, few more are starting to see it, how they're being used and manipulated. But it's still a large portion to where, you know, shit, they, they think just if a white person says some stuff like that, then, you know, oh, it's just white fragility or white tears and all it's because what you, everything you did to us in the past so who cares what you got to say <laughs> perfect example some of the stuff that was going on in 2020 remember the teacher that you know she had, had no ill intent <laughs> but she talked about how our black students were underperforming and she got fired and this was in the private zoom meeting but somebody leaked it. And as you see, it was nothing, no ill intent. Uh, she said it out of a place of, you could tell it was out of a place of care. But she, you know, but it was just something, it was an observation that she made. And there's countless stories like that, that don't get reported. But somebody's seeing it. There's people that are seeing it and there's a sector of the on the internet that, you know, they follow this stuff and they see it. And what I've told everybody is don't buy into the friction. Don't let them trick you into having disdain or, you know, you know, not liking this particular group because you think they're getting away with something. They did it. They, they've used white people over the years. They've convinced you, matter of, even though, like with most situations, the white people bought into the bullshit that was going on back in the days. But it was, it was government. It was government that was sanctioning these things. It was government that was giving us subsidies to these organizations that were participating in Jim Crow and stuff like that. And they were putting the laws, enacting particular laws. That was government. Don't lose sight of that. And what we've been seeing, you know, it's, 
I don't know if I said this, but women are on the list too. They utilize women. You saw what happened with Malika Andrews and the way she tried to turn it uh, something that was a a mutual, you know, uh, a mutual relationship between two employees. I may have, may have went against team rules because of Ime Udoka's position. But still, it was a mutual relationship, and she tried to turn it into a a woman thing. Um, and that's what this is with Don Lemon. I don't like Don Lemon at all. And he's fed into this whole culture, this cancel culture, and uh, just the lies being told. Sit there, sat there on CNN for years, telling lies, spreading propaganda, telling stories, uh, um, manipulating stories, and the people who watch the program. Sat there for years. So he, he helped create this. And now he's getting fucked over by the same system that he helped create. How about that? Hard to feel sorry for you, but at the same time, I'm going to call it out. It's bullshit. Because, hey, you say, because uh, I'm, I'm going to say, if it can happen to him, it can happen to you. Now, how can it happen to me? I'm not, I don't plan on working or CNN any, any time soon or anything like that. That's probably what you're saying. But these ideas seep into the fabric of our society, into the mind. Where people start believing that this is acceptable, uh, acceptable way of handling things and processing information. Because we've seen it in other aspects. It's worked. And so while you won't be working at a big mainstream place like CNN, it'll seep into your institutions, your schools, your job or something. Certain conversations probably shouldn't be having anyway, but... Hell, it was a harmless... He said nothing wrong. Saying he's... <laughs> sexist comments. When they were talking about Nikki Haley's age and talking about is she passed her prime and he was defending Nikki Haley. Saying because of her age, because she's 50. And he said he doesn't like that notion because people try to use that same argument and try to say that with women. It's been said, whether they've heard it or not. And he made it very clear that he does not agree with that about women being in their prime and in their 30s or 40s or anything. He said he doesn't agree with it. Said it clear, but then you got these two white women, <laughs> these two dickheads, Going, getting, be, being offended. It was it one or two? I don't, I don't remember. But you got them being offended <laughs> about what? He clearly said he does not agree with the notion or the statement, but he was putting it out there how he doesn't like. He doesn't like the statement about people being past their prime. So that's in defense of women. And y'all still took him off the air? Because they took him off the air for... I, 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 I don't know if it was a couple days. I know there was one episode they took him off the air. And now they brought him back. He's able to get back on air. And he has to go undergo formal training. Because of his quote-unquote sexist comments. We live in a clown fucking world and anybody who agrees with this shit you are a fucking clown they try to create this narrative they try to create these protected classes where you can't say anything can't have any criticism and all it does is create hatred amongst the groups That's all it does. But that's what they want. They want y'all split up. Because the more you split up, 
How can you operate? How can you cooperate in a society like that? And in the event, in the the divine event, in the divine event, because that's what it'll take for something like this to happen, that people wake the fuck up, a large collective, society as a collective, in general, they wake the fuck up. How are you going to work together? How are you going to create free markets and things like that? If you're fractured, if you don't want to work with each other, create a money system that flows the correct way, flows to, you know, between flows through hands, to, uh, no matter what the group is, where people are cooperate with each other. Can't work if nobody, if everybody has disdain toward each other. And this is exactly what they want because you'll forever be in the government's grasp. garbage let me know what you think in the comment section i'll let y'all later